Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. And for today, we have something pretty exciting. This is the Google Jam Board. Uh, so essentially, this is uh, uh, kind of a new approach to presentations and presentation making and giving and collaborating with people, not only in your office, but uh, across the world. So uh, in front of us, we have four different screens, uh, two of them being iPads, one being an iPhone, and then the final device is the actual Jamboard product that Google is uh, planning to ship with uh, this service. So you don't have to buy the Jamboard screen in order to use Jamboard, but they uh, advertise it in such that you know it maximizes uh, the benefits. So what we'll do today is just kind of go over everything that it has to offer and how you can use it with that you know big TV and what you can do without it with just the Android tablet, an iOS ta uh, tablet like an iPad or uh, your iPhone. So uh, I have uh, Nick here with us, of course. Uh, so we're doing a, one of our duo videos, which we don't get to do too often, but whenever we do, it's always exciting. So Nick, uh, I'm gonna send you a uh, invitation now. Sure. Okay, so plus new jam. Okay. Add people. Okay, now it's here at this point, it's just letting me know that Nick is an external user since he's not part of the G Suite domain uh, that I'm using to demo this. Uh, you may or may not see this message, but in any case, you can add the user. Okay, and now on Nick's iPad, he should see a invitation. So I got one on my computer, okay. got an email notifying me that I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. Let's take a look. And there it is. Cool. Came right up. Awesome. So once Nick uh, taps on it and opens it, uh, you'll see that on both iPads, on the left-hand side, there are a bunch of tools that you can use. So I'm going to take my iPad here and just say, uh, give this, you know, maybe like a quick note on top here with the pencil tool. There are a bunch of different varieties that you can use like markers, uh, pencils, brushes, that kind of thing. So it kind of gives you the Photoshop feel. So I'm gonna say, you know, something, uh, for example, uh, meeting 2017. So as you can see, as soon as I'm done typing it here, it automatically pops up on Nick's iPad. All right, and also, on iOS devices. So I'm gonna tap on this jam here just so you can see that this is also possible on the iOS device. And of course it's a lot smaller on the phone, but if you do need to use it on your iPhone or on a tab, you know, because you're, you don't have a tablet with you at the given time, it is entirely possible to view it on an iOS device. And then I'm just gonna refresh the browser up here. Okay, excellent. All right, and on the very top of our screens, we have the uh, actual Jamboard device, which is like a 56 inch uh, television. Uh, the price varies for anywhere between $3,000 to $6,000 somewhere in that ballpark don't quote us exactly on the prices but uh that's uh you know essentially the benefit of having that is that instead of using your fingers to draw and your tablets you can actually use a big 60 inch television that's in front of you with a stylus and any like a physical eraser uh nick do you want to demo the hand recognition yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and because my handwriting is pretty terrible, we're going to click on the A here at the bottom. So handwriting recognition. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to just type in today's date. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That was actually pretty nice. Awesome. Right. You saw how it kind of uh, tripped up there for a minute. It wrote 31st, then it realized you're writing third. Right, right. So that was pretty cool. As soon as it saw that D, it was able to correct itself. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So as you can see here at, the, here at the top, there is a little arrow. You can move it from 
left to right. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna keep it here on the left. I'm gonna actually add a little sticker here. We'll go ahead and just plop that in there. A little smiley face. And if you wanna delete this or move it around, you just hold it and go ahead and just move it there. And as you can see, there's a little trash can at the bottom. Um, and I'm not sure what this is here. Let's see, what try does that it out. What do? does that do? Put him over there. Oh, it's probably to bring him over to the next page. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Oh, didn't mean to write that. Very cool. Uh, and then also you can make objects larger and smaller. Even though Nick created this little guy, I should be able to, I should be able to grab him. Is that possible? Let me see that. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it down on Yeah, him. there we go. So two finger pinch and uh, scroll and zoom uh, kind of works the same way that it does on the iPad. Uh, if you ever do accidental scribbles, you can always erase stuff just by using the erase tool. And then you can go back to the selection tool. You can draw shapes. Oh, so it actually has shape recognition. So for instance, if I draw this with my hand, it obviously knows that that's supposed to be a square, which is awesome. All right, so Very cool. I think that this thing, when you drag it over to the side and you're seeing the blue kind of uh, thing pop up here, I think that's to go to the next page. Oh, there we go. Now I brought it over to the second page. So you have to hover and hold over the right area, and then you'd be, you're be you gonna be able to uh, go over from one page to the other. Got it, okay, so you can move from left to right here. Yeah. See that? Cool. Okay, awesome. And then we can, you can, depending on the device that you're on, you can actually jump back and forth between pages, and you don't necessarily have to be on a specific page. So whatever page you decide uh, you wanna look at or kind of review what's already been talked about, you can do that uh, directly you know, from your device. You're not kind of stuck on what the presenter is kind of showing. So this is you know, really uh, fantastic for uh, scenarios where you, know, you have multiple people in an office, one person presenting, uh, and then, you know, you can have people jumping in into the conversation at any point from anywhere, anywhere in the world. So right now it's just Nick and I, but, uh, you know, we could have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty 10, 20, uh, people joining in on this and they can all view, uh, kind of the presentation as it's happening. So, uh, they can also add little bullet points. They can add notes, they can make changes. And this really becomes a collaborative kind of, uh, presentation method. All right, so what we're going to do now is on the bottom left here, um, on our toolbar, we're going to click the plus. As you can see here, it gives us more options. We're going to click on the Google Drive and Fitness. This, uh, of course, links to your Google Drive account. Uh, we'll do the Insanity Calendar since I was uh, doing this as of recent. Go ahead and click on that. So if we double tap it, it's going to go ahead and give us this. We can drag it out, remove this that PDF there and then it essentially takes it takes it a picture of it and just puts it out here so we can move it around we can add it in and just leave it right there all right so let's take a look at the next one we have the website a little globe there actually allows us to search Google so let's say cats we want to search that it'll take us directly to Google and search for cats and from here we can uh, take little snippets of let's say we want the description here let's take that right here from wikipedia it says enter and it's going to throw it right into our jamboard very let's cool this all right right there so uh just going down the toolbar here we can click the little search images we'll do cats again it'll give us images of cats we'll pick this uh this cute one here and it'll just toss it there. Of course, we can move it around, delete it if we need to, put it on the other Jamboard. So there we go. Oh, I wanna make another one. We put it right there. So let's go back to our original one. And so continuing down the list, we have all of our, our emojis, as you saw earlier. Put the little explosion there. Of course, we can uh, go ahead and, oh, so I didn't wanna zoom in there. Let's move that out of the way. In any case, uh, here, for example, your um, 
workout calendar. I can zoom in on it. I can clearly, see, let me rotate it a little bit, but I can clearly read everything that's on here. Uh, so it looks like tomorrow is gonna be your cardio power and resistance, and then you got some fit test. So definitely great for a kind of collaboration working together. For example, a designer of some sort, whether it be like a clothing designer or web designer, and you're building a customer's kind of web layout, you can kind of work with the customer and show them, you know, this is what we're planning. This is what we want things to kind of look like. So I think that's pretty, uh, a pretty pretty awesome approach approach to it um and you know definitely right. having a big tv would be a plus mm -hmm. but then again if you don't have a big tv you can always you know broadcast your ipad onto a big tv using apple tv or you know mm -hmm. airplay it or something like that right of course and i really do like that feature of uh being able to search the web and just kind of adding the snippets of or just a, you know a screen grab of anything on the web and posting it on here i feel like it's a really cool feature Absolutely, man. That's really, really awesome. And then uh, right here, you also have the option on the top right, you have the option to share uh, the jam as a PDF. So for instance, someone who doesn't have an iPad or can't sit in on the meeting or for whatever reason just can't access this, you can export right from your iPad, from your tablet to a PDF file, email it out, send it to you know different, different locations, different places. So they're giving you flexibility and how you're getting this data out to users. So that's really, really cool stuff. Right, and let's say uh, you're actually in a uh, meeting and you don't have everyone's email address, uh, but you guys are all connected to the same Wi-Fi. Um, at the top right here, you can click on push to Jamboard and you can find other Jamboards nearby, uh, which is very cool too. So let's say you do have that Jamboard um, that you are writing on, you wanna connect to it with your iPad and add some stuff, uh, this will allow you to do so. That's really awesome. Yeah. So, you know, they even though that they're giving you a lot of power, if you don't have the physical hardware product, uh, you do get the benefits of that in specific environments, you know, so like for a small business, maybe you don't have the, the you know, five thousand dollars to put up for, you know, a smart television or like a smart meeting board, but you still want to use the Google product, they do give you the ability to do that. So that's pretty spectacular on Google's end that they're opening the uh, the service to uh, a pretty wide array of companies and individuals. And I'm not sure if we talked about the last uh, icon here. <clears throat> it's the uh, camera app. So um, we click on it, would like to access our photos, we click okay. And let's say I want to post uh, this picture here that I had snapped a little while ago while I was in the sauna. I like that one. It's there a great picture. So, <laughs> right, so it's a pretty funny one. This one is uh, essentially of me just in the sauna and of course uh, use a tomato filter back in the day on Snapchat a little <laughs> while ago. <laughs> That's great. Um, you know, we're having fun with this and you, I can see this being used in classrooms and collaborative environments where kids are on their iPads and, you know, maybe working on projects together and, you know, throwing ideas around. Uh, I think it's a really, really uh, awesome, awesome tool, especially since it's, you know, cross platform. So even if, you, if you're on an Android device or you're on a Windows uh, PC or on a Mac, you can uh, still see what's going on on screen. And just to be clear, as of now, a Windows PC web browser mac os web browser you can view what's happening uh in the jamboard but you cannot edit and put content in you're going to need an ios device or an android tablet uh to do so now so as you see here i actually backed out and i was able to see both um i guess slides of the uh, presentation here great although so there we go it's actually very cool awesome so even though you're in the same uh, kind of Jamboard, you can see the different slides that are within the presentation. Right, so as I back out, yep, and then um, click right into it. Very cool. Uh, just just to make another note about the uh, mobile experience, uh, the mobile experience is definitely limited, although it does still allow creation of uh, post-its. So for, for mobile, I can't actually uh, draw anything with like my finger, but I can still insert pictures. I can still add uh, post-it notes. I can add uh, stuff from Google Drive. So still pretty cool. And that's my little note there. Boom. Awesome.
Okay, so by mobile you mean uh, just with uh, the iPhone? Yes, correct. The, the iPhone device, correct? Yes. So iPhone, uh, I, like I, like a phone or a Android phone, you still do have the ability to access the Jamboard. You just don't have all the flexibility and all the tools with it. Got it. Okay. So if there are two pages in this Jamboard, you'll be able to see the the two pages just by tapping the icon on the kind of top middle of the screen. Oh yes. Uh, yep. I was playing with that a little earlier. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. And then if you tap on that, it also brings up a little uh, kind of thumbnail view, which is sweet too. So this way you can actually oh, see cool. what's in the thumbnail. I can actually see which one you're connected to. So if you open up one, you can see the little, um, essentially your logo oh, I right see above that. it. Uh, right, and I see your little icon from your personal account. Very awesome. I'm just popping left and, you know, left and right, very <laughs> cool. All right, uh, let's see if we can see what else this guy can do. Um, I'm a, I'm a little bit nitpicky, so what I'm going to do is get my eraser tool here. I'm going to erase this uh, 2017 meeting because it's such horrible handwriting. I want to correct it and make it a bit more legible. Oops. <laughs> meeting dude. <laughs> meeting tool <laughs> almost uh, almost well now let's see how can we actually edit this is it possible to edit it um I, so you can move it around but you can't edit it huh mm, that's interesting yeah so i actually put it into the note which is interesting so you can drag text that you just typed from your uh from your note from your, for example, scribble, and then drag it into a, a sticky note. Oh, so it actually added to my December 3rd test. So I um, I kind of wrote out test, uh -huh. moved it, and it added it to that line. Oh, so you drag and dropped over it, and then it inserted into that. Oh, that's a pretty smart, uh, it's a pretty right. smart text, text tool I there. Don't, I don't see that I can edit it. I can copy it with this icon here, uh -huh. so now I have two of them, but I can't seem to edit it. And if you tap over it, you can't. No, nothing happens. No, nothing happens. Interesting. So I guess if you were to mess up, you mm -hmm. would have to delete it and then rewrite it. Ah, okay. Or, well, or just hit the undo button. Oh, there is an undo button. Perfect. That's another good point. And you know this is a relatively new uh, kind of app. So you do have uh, a relatively new, relatively new service that's just being pushed out to you know all the uh, admin consoles. So with time and versions, uh, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have many more features that are gonna be a lot more uh, functional and exciting. But as it is, as it sits now, I think it's a home run. Um, although it is sometimes a little picky here and there on what I'm choosing and or trying to do. Um, but I really do like it. I think it would be very good for an everyday use. Uh, for instance, my job, I do a lot of networking and a lot of uh, work for clients. So using something like this for projects and team meetings, um, setting up network topologies and, and so on would be perfect. It would be a, a, a great thing to do. So it might be something that I will bring up to our, uh, you know, our next team meeting um, and see what we can do from there. Right on, man. Right on just a, you know a blast kind of playing around with it for uh, the last couple of days and kind of working it on here with with you we're kind of discovering little you know tidbits here and there but mm -hmm. i can definitely see this being incorporated into like projects when you know when you're working with teams and you want to kind of you know put a lot of thoughts and ideas together so that's super super awesome all right guys we hope you enjoyed our overview of the google jamboard uh if you guys have any questions please leave them below and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can have a great day guys Ciao.